Thank you. 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 A lot of our brothers, Natchez has been one of the forefronts for the struggles, actually, for black power in the electoral process. Uh, you know, we still have them, brothers and sisters fighting for officers down in Natchez. That is part of that Cush district I talked about. That Cush district starts up in Tunica, Mississippi, which is not far from Memphis, and goes all the way down the western part of Mississippi to Wilkinson County, which is right below Natchez, right? Okay. And you take in over 15 black counties, or 15 black counties in that process. But to answer your question, there's some struggles going on in Natchez. Uh, that, you know, uh, everything from the, the black elected circuit court judge fighting against the white elected circuit court judge, uh, you know, and they really struggle for power in those counties down there. They, they, they understand the concept. And so they try to prosecute black people every time they can if they can find out they try to try to uh, uh, you know if they can accuse them of failure to register right or that kind of thing so those kinds of struggles that's going on i can tell you that for sure and uh right below natchez and this this should be you know uh you know i don't like police you know i'm sorry i mean i mean i don't like police I, you know the reason i don't like now let me let me let me just tell you why now. i mean i mean i got it i got it i got it natural I got it natural. I mean, I wasn't, wasn't something that I, you know was acquired taste because I grew up in Detroit and saw police beating people down, killing. I mean, I, I don't know if they killed them, but they beat them down until they could have been dead. I don't know. I didn't stay around to find out in many instances. But 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 and then I become part of a movement where the police has uh, persecuted us and, 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 and rolled on our movement. But 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 part of this 21st century African nationalism means that we have to find a way to penetrate their their uh, just their infrastructure as opposed to just getting ours penetrated. And I and, and that came to mind because there's a sheriff down in Wilkinson County, a black sheriff, he was elected. And they tried to get him out, not try to prosecute some of the people who got him elected. But he uh, some of you may not know it, but brother Mario Bedelli, who is my political yeah. mentor, uh, got very sick recently. Oh, I and know. wound up in uh Wound up in Wilkinson County. He was lost. He was in, he, he was lost. Wandered on to a, a white guy's land who's known to be a Klansman, right? And really, the sheriff quietly and cooperatively with our security people set out a search for him, found him, got him, brought him back to safety, right? And made sure that he was protected, right? Okay. So I'm you know I'm just telling the truth. So if we can get and, and maybe the reason that sheriff was that conscious is because he understood that they were out to get him too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, but we, but, but we have to take over what we can, the systems we can. And the systems we can't take over now, we have to strengthen what we got so later on we can take over the rest of it. Those that we should have control over. Now, I'm not trying to oppress white people. Right? I mean, that's, that's too much work for me. All right, okay. Okay, but, but I am saying that the systems that control our lives we need to have complete control over it, regardless of what they call it. Thank you very much for tuning in. All right.